Today we're going to make a modern tiki drink. Dawn Day Afternoon. For this drink, you're going to need a double old-fashioned glass, a jigger, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a citrus juicer, a fine mesh strainer, a cutting board and a small knife, and optionally, a fancy straw. This drink uses rum agricole blanc, grapefruit rodler, cinnamon syrup, lime juice, and a grapefruit peel for garnish. Just as not all tiki drinks are made with rum, not all tiki drinks are made over crushed ice. In spite of its ice and unconventional concept, this drink is very tiki. It's at the same time familiar and completely unexpected. It's super boozy, but the juices and sweeteners are lighter than usual. And because it's sort of a highball, it's bright and refreshing. It was designed for day drinking, particularly on a hot day. The drink was created in 2015 by Martin Kate, the tiki guru behind Smuggler's Cove The Book, Smuggler's Cove The Bar, and several other tiki bars. When writing the book with his wife, Martin came up with several new recipes. This is one of them. He wanted to create a beer cocktail that could be built in the glass, but still keep both feet firmly planted in the land of tiki. The name is a reference to the movie Dog Day Afternoon. That's both a nod to Don Beach as well as the hot, sticky dog days of summer. In the movie, during a heat wave, the Al Pacino character gets embroiled in a bank robbery gone wrong. The heat is almost a supporting character in the movie. It's penetrating and oppressive. And it's days with that kind of heat that Martin had in mind for this drink. Don Beach, of course, is the father of Tiki. He opened the first Tiki bar down the beachcomber right after Prohibition. He also invented several Tiki classics, like Three Dots and a Dash, The Navy Grog, and The Zombie. Drawing on inspiration from Don and the sweet and sour foundation of the 1934 zombie, Kate built this exotic beer cocktail with grapefruit beer, cinnamon syrup, and lime juice. Grapefruit, cinnamon, and lime. It's almost like a modernist deconstruction of a Don drink. Only unlike a Don drink, there are only a few ingredients. It's easy to measure, and there's no blender or shaker required. In the tiki world, a drink with easy construction is something of an exotic bird. It's rare and exciting to find. But for lazy afternoon day drinking, easy is a must. And what's great about the drink is you can bottle up the rum, lime, and cinnamon combo, grab a pack of Rodlers, and build the drink at a barbecue. Or better yet, a luau. There's nothing better than a Rodler for poolside day drinking on a swelteringly hot day. And in particular, a grapefruit Rodler. Rodlers are sort of the German mimosa, it's a combination of citrus juice and beer that's meant to be a hair of the dog morning drink. So after a night of heavy drinking, it's designed to wash out the swamp mouth and tamp down on those bells that won't stop clanging in your head. For this one, Kate likes using the grapefruit rodler from Stiegel, the excellent Austrian brewery in Salzburg. But if you can't get your hands on it, you can try subbing in another grapefruit beer. For the Martinique rum, Kate strongly recommends that you use a Blanc you're really going to want that raw, uncut wildness of a Martinique rum agricole to be at the heart of this drink. If you keep an aged agricole in stock to make things like a Three Dots and a Dash or a Mai Tai at a moment's notice, it'll work in this one, and you'll end up with a good drink. It just won't have that same exotic bite that the Blanc version does. But sometimes you got to play the cards you're dealt. This drink isn't exactly low ABV like you want most day drinks to be. It's unexpectedly strong, like most tiki drinks tend to be. But it's so good that it might end up replacing your mimosa for Sunday fun day brunch. Just don't be surprised if you end up face down by noon and calling out sick on Monday. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my lime juice. That way it's easier to pour when it comes time to measure. Then prep your glass by filling it with ice cubes and giving it a quick stir to chill down the glass. Next, measure out two ounces of rum. Pour that in your glass. Measure half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. Pour that in your glass. Measure half an ounce of lime juice. Pour that in your glass. Give everything a good stir to chill it down. Then pop open your Rodler and pour it in your glass. You're aiming for four ounces, but you'll just want to eyeball it as you want to keep as much carbonation in the drink as possible. Cut a long swath of grapefruit peel, being careful not to cut into the white bith. Express some oils from your grapefruit twist over the drink. Wind the peel around your straw and work it into your glass. And that's all there is to it. Who says tiki ain't easy? 
dawn day afternoon. A cooling Maluna. You can support this channel by clicking on the Patreon link here. Check out some more videos. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.